You're listening to 834's award-winning podcast, The Happy Hour Hustle. We offer listeners the chance to experience the musings, or ramblings, depending on how many glasses of wine she's had, of the one and only Kimberly J. Bodie as she interviews notable clients, upstanding community members, and random passerby. Nominations and awards pending. Welcome to another edition of Happy Hour Hustle. This is a very special one. (laughs) We have uh, Morgan uh, Schaefer who happens to also work at 834, and she is going to be giving us all of the advice for new grads, or even those still in school. Yes, hello. Just to clarify. I've been a grad for like hmm, three days now. She has so much advice to give. She's basically an expert. Um, Okay, so one of the things that impressed me before you came on as an intern here um, was your involvement in in school, Um, and not just like going to classes and things like that, but all the what do they call it, extracurricular? Is that what sure. the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> Probably not. I don't even okay. know what they're called. Probably no? Okay. Um, so talk a little bit about what your involvement was while you were in school, and then and maybe before you even go there, how you kind of got involved. Yeah, so I went to GRCC for my first two years just to knock out the general stuff, so I really wasn't involved in anything there, and I really didn't see the like, need to be. But when I transferred to Grand Valley, I totally recognized the importance of getting involved and um, being a part of something bigger than just like going to class. Um, And so I actually, when I toured a school in the South, they mentioned PRSSA um, and I totally forgot about it when I went, ended up at CC. And then the first week of classes at Grand Valley, um, two students came in and started talking about PRSSA, and I was like, oh, right, yeah, I was supposed to join that. So and I did. <laughs> PRSSA is. Yes, it's the Public Relations Student Society of America, the longest name yeah, it's in the a world. Dumb name. Um, and so I joined, and I went by myself, and it was at nine o'clock at night, all the way in Allendale, and I was living with my parents at the time. So it was like a 30 minute drive, and I was like, what am I doing? This is so late at night. This is not going to benefit me. It is me. late. Thank yeah. you for saying that. <laughs> Especially, They're changing that, by the way. Go, oh, they are? Good. So it's a normal time. So I'm not, I don't have to skip my bedtime to speak there. <laughs> so the first meeting just blew me away. There were so many students there. There were professors there. And then there were people in the industry who actually knew what they were talking about because they lived in it. And it just went beyond the classroom. Um, so I became a member. And then I actually heard Drew speak a month into my membership there. And I was like, oh, this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. This is the right place for me to be. This is the right organization I'm supposed to be a part of. And um, so then I just threw myself into it. Um, I didn't really make a ton of friends in it for like the first couple months because I was didn't want to stay after it ended. And everyone just kind of mingles after. And yeah. I was like, this is so late. I'm going home. Yeah. Um, but I joined the executive board. And then that way, I was able to um, really be a part of the organization and really work on it and see how it works yeah absolutely and then that really helped my involvement but it brought being a part of PRSSA even before I was on the executive board being able to bring the knowledge that I was learning in those meetings to like group projects and into the work that I was doing for just individual projects was so helpful and the feedback I received from professors was they were just blown away and it was just me applying myself Two extracurriculars and then taking that See, you knowledge. Called it okay, yes, it's an extracurricular. See, yep, that's what Fine. that's the word all the kids are using. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think finding the organization that relates to whatever your major is. And my major was communications. It wasn't PR, um, but there's not like communications right. club. So this was probably the closest match for me. But there's marketing students in there. There are business students in there, and that it just PR is just can spread to anything. It relates to anything. So finding an organization that matches what you're looking to do in your career um, will help you find mentors and a network and really just grow your knowledge. Well, and that also kind of set the foundation for you finding like an internship. Yeah, and then, 100%. Right. And then I think it helps. I think one of the things I like about it is that you see a level of confidence um, from those that are involved in, you know, whether it's a club or an oh association gosh, or yes. whatever it is. Um you also were you were involved in Grand PR, were you not? I was not. So I was actually working like thirty five hours at the mall. So oh, oh, on yeah, top that's of right. on you top were getting of, us those discounts. Yes, mm-hmm. I had. I also was doing a nonprofit internship, and then going to school full time. And so 
to commit to Grand PR, you kind of have to have like yeah. 25, 30 hours. And I just knew that I would be pushing myself over yeah. the edge if I joined it. Which I think is another important lesson too, is to know what your limitations yes. are um, because you want to be able to give everything to yeah. whether it's an internship or whether it is, you know, like PR SSA. Uh, so I think, but I, I will say from an employer perspective, seeing the involvement that you actually like, you know, I think that helps you like I said, with confidence, you know, when you came into that interview, you were very confident. You were very sure of yourself. Whether you were faking it or not, it doesn't matter because that's <laughs> what you projected. Um, and then you also had a knowledge that the majority of, you know, when you get, I almost said kids, but when you get <laughs> uh, new students or when you get students that come in, um, there's there's just, they, they don't have anything outside of like the classroom yeah. experience. Yeah, and if you are a Grand Valley student and you are a PR or marketing or business student, consider joining Grand PR if you have the time because I, I totally would have loved to be able to work on the clients that they worked on. I just couldn't – I didn't want to, like, bring down a team just yeah. because I didn't have the time. Well, so. and Grand PR is a student-run agency. Yeah. Um, and not just to, to be solely, you know, obviously our background is communication, so that's what we're talking about. But there are so many other organizations you can join. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of frats or sororities, <laughs> but they do a lot of really good – if it's a good, you know, it's a good yeah. group to have. We partnered with them for um, our fundraiser this past semester, and we were able to blow our – yeah fundraising just out of the water because they're super organized too mm -hmm. and they they have goals and so it aligned really well and we were able to really succeed um don't mind phoebe she's trying <laughs> to knock everything over here um she can't see with all that hair uh the other thing too um that i wanted to point out was uh what was I going to point out? I completely forgot because Phoebe distracted me. But um, so the internships, you know, oh, well, no, here, now I remember. <laughs> um, the network that you that you built has, will, I mean, you will carry that in. I, I had to start, because interesting enough, I did a semester at CC, then I transferred to Grand Valley. I got involved in nothing. I commuted. I didn't live on campus. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, I was like college, whatever. I don't care. Let's just yeah, get this over Yeah, that's how I was too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think um, I had to start from scratch when I entered the workforce in terms of building an entire network. Um, you actually will have this network continue on, regardless of where all of those, you know, your your friends or, or those that you, you were in PRS SA with um, <laughs> go, they're, they're going to spread out all over the world. Yeah, and, and we got to do agency tours once a month with our organization. So I went on almost all of them last year and then this this year. So I, that's probably... Now let's talk about why 834s was the best. You didn't do an agency oh, tour. Oh, I know, but just why oh, we're the best. Well, yeah, we are the yeah. best. But. <laughs> so yeah, the agency tours were helpful because then you meet people that are in the field. And then I was able to make those connections on LinkedIn and just have yep. kind of a network that's broader than just West Michigan. Yep. And we have Detroit and Chicago. And, so that was and you worked the auto show this year. Yes, the mm -hmm. auto show was amazing. I don't think I could ever plan something that large scale. That was like terrifying yeah. to well, like walk into. But <laughs> all of those experience, you know, to be able to do all of yeah. those things. I mean, you're getting real world experience. I yeah. mean, we don't hire new grads for a reason because, you know, it's, they, they always think the grass is greener on the other side and they don't really know, they don't come, they don't really appreciate the culture that we have here and how unique yeah. it is. Um, but I think that you having done all of these other internships and, and, you know, working all through college, that gives you a unique, um, a unique experience and you can Absolutely. still see, you know, that really what makes us different. Um, yeah. I remember before I worked here, interned here, we toured um, an agency in Chicago, and I just remember walking in and just instantly knowing, like, I would, could never work in that environment, just the way that it was set up, the way even it was decorated, and just the way that the whole office, the people were communicating with each other. It was so quiet and soft, and I was like, I could never go in every day and be satisfied here. And so you start, you can expose yourself to those experiences and start to and know, truly what know what you, you want. want. Yeah. yeah. And then not give up till you get it. So absolutely. Um, how I, where how are we doing on time? Am I way over? <laughs> you don't have to is cut there a this time out. Just leave it this? in. Who cares? This is how Conan O'Brien does his his podcast. He just randomly talks about other things. Oh good. So and Bentley's sleeping on the floor over here. Um, two minutes. Two minutes. Got it. All right. Gosh, what else should we talk about? This has been a fascinating podcast so far. Um, just get involved. Yeah. That's my advice. Mm -hmm. You get involved and then you can open yourself to a world of possibilities. And also when you do graduate, you know, the great thing with 
at least for the Public Relations um, Society of America, is that you get, you're able to join your first year at a significantly reduced rate um, yeah. and then continue to build those, you know, that network in more of a professional, you know, setting. Yeah. I shouldn't say, yeah. But there's always ways to continue that involvement outside of, you know, college. And, yeah. you know, being involved gives you, again, a really, really unique um, ability to, to build connections, um, carry those connections into the professional world with you, your first job, whatever it is. And then also, you made a really good point. It gives you the ability to kind of see what it is that you want and what are you drawn to, what's the type of culture that you, you want to be working in, um, and what, what will set you apart is being able to flourish and grow in that same culture. So being yeah. true to yourself. You know, we talked to Shannon Cohen on a podcast prior to this, and that was one of the things that we really talked about as it related, you know, to, to leadership is, you know, being true to yourself and understanding your limitations, but also recognizing what it is you need to grow and and where you need to be to do that. Yeah, it's so funny. I After I heard you speak the first time, I told a few of my friends, I was like, I'm going to work for her. And they all looked at me and they were like, I could never work there. <laughs> And I, but they were like, but that's totally, you could totally work yeah. there. And mm-hmm. so I think it's so funny when you're in these organizations, you get to know each other and there's people who I look up to and admire and I could never work in the jobs that they do, but I love them as a person. And I think their skills are totally amazing and just could not well, be. And agency life is hard. I mean, agency, you know, you're constantly busy. You're constantly, deadlines are always looming, you know, and you talked about what was it, the set, the Sunday scaries oh, that yeah. you, yeah, <laughs> that you won't have those anymore. And I, was I didn't like, say that. I was just, it was the last Sunday scaries of of school, college. Yeah, yeah. of college, fair. Sunday scaries yeah. are real. Yeah, oh, they're real. Yeah, I, I hate Sunday nights. Like, they freak me out. But, um, well, anyway, Morgan, thank you for being here. You have to because you're paid to be here. But um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, thank you for sharing that because I do think, you know, we just – we hired another individual and they are a new grad. And I don't think that we would have taken a chance on that person if we hadn't had such a great experience with you. And also seeing like, you know, the, how involved that, that same person was, you know, and, and I think that's, that is something really unique. You don't always get that with those that are in school. They're not pursuing those internships. Um, they're not continuing to, you know, they're not involved in things outside just going to class and trying to get through the day. So, um, as an employer, that is something that we really look for that they, that person isn't scared to shine, be who they are, um, and then tackle any new challenge that's put in front of them. And when you see that on a resume, that that all that involvement as well as the other experience that you've had, that's something that stands out. So, um, yeah. Do you have any last thoughts to share? No, oh, let's get some lunch. Yeah, I'm seriously, <laughs> I'm hungry too. Uh, oh, we didn't ask you your drink. What's your favorite drink? Uh, margarita. Doesn't matter what flavor, as long as it's not spicy. Does it have Sh- to have sugar? Sugar on sugar the rim, on and then obviously lime on yeah. the side. Perfect, perfect. So what? We'll get, we'll you get, don't like that? Yeah. <laughs> Rose over here, like I'll just have no. some water. No, well, seriously. <laughs> we're we're yeah, but you like your sour beers. Oh, I think oh, it's weird with salt. Too. No, I don't, I don't like, like salt. No. I have to have the sugar. Yeah, it's gross. The salt is like. Why do I want so that? basic? We're stings. so basic. Kim. Yeah, we are so basic and extra. No, anyway. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for listening again to us ramble on for another happy hour hustle.